In this video, I want to talk about the logic of what we call the pipe. So we're going to use a symbol that's actually a percent sign, a greater than sign, and then another percent sign. And we're going to use it quite a bit. And I'm going to show you why we would want to use that and what it does. So percent sign, greater than sign, and then percent sign. Um, so I've preloaded with a really simple data frame. And you can see it's got three columns. There's one, four, two, three, two, seven, six, two, six. I don't know what these numbers mean, but you can imagine something. One simple thing that we, what we might want to do is just know the row sums of the data frame. So down here, literally just going to sum up 1 plus 4 plus 2. So that sum should be 7. The next sum should be 12. And if I run that, sure enough, I get where each number is the sum of the first row, then the second row, and then the third row. And so maybe for some purpose, I want these, this row sum, but I also then want to take the mean of these row sums. So I first found the row sums. I got this vector. Now I want to know the mean of these three numbers. I would expect that it's 7 plus 14 is 21, plus 12 is 33, divided by 3. It should be 11. So I get that. And so now I have 11, which is sum the rows and take the mean of those three row sums. Now, we basically started with a data frame, applied a function, and then applied another function. So one data frame, applied two functions. And you can see if I look at this code and I wanna figure out what happened, I need to read from the inside out. I need to say, okay, I started with data, then row sums, and then mean. And that's a little bit counterintuitive to how we read things. And so what the pipe allows us to do, data, is start with our data and then now pipe into row sums. And so if I just run this line, if I just run line five, I've taken data and I've gotten the row sums. Let's pull the just the data back up. If I run this, I get the row sums. And so these two things are equivalent, data into row sums and row sums of data. Now, we did something else. We also added the mean. And so in order to add the mean when we're using the pipe, I just do another pipe and then I do the mean. And so if I run this, I'm going to get that 11 that we had talked about. Whereas in the initial example, I need to add it on the outside. And so, it gets you the same result. These two are both equivalent, saying take data put into row sums, take the result of data into row sums, and take the mean of it. Whereas this is kind of like function composition, going back to algebra or algebra two, and it's a little bit more troublesome to read. And so I have another example from some other code that I was writing, because this looks marginally easier to read, right? But you might not be all the way convinced because this really isn't that hard to read. Well, let's look at another example of something else I was doing. So here's this code with the pipe. And so I have a data frame, empty cars, and you'll learn all of these other things at some point. And then I'm filtering, and then I'm arranging, and then I'm mutating, and then I'm selecting. And so I start with my data frame, and then I have each of my functions and some parameters I'm passing to my functions. Whereas without the pipe, this just becomes absolute madness. This becomes very difficult to read. I need to see empty cars. Then I need to see filter. And I've got all of this. And now this is returning a data frame that's going into a range. And so then I see here. And you can see where it gets much, much, much more complex. This is much easier to read because I can read it like the English language. One last thing. the keyboard shortcut because it's kind of a drag to hit shift five and then shift period and then shift five again is you can do depending if you're on mac or windows mac it's command shift m uh, windows is control shift m and it'll auto produce that for you so that becomes very quick so that you don't have to take so long to fi find those three kind of weird, ca uh, weird characters so control shift m will produce the pipe very quickly and You'll find it's, it's incredibly valuable as you go.